What's up, YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. And in this episode, uh, I'm going to be doing the accessory drives on the Chevy C10 today. And I, I mean, someone made a really good point. I need to wait and turn the oil pump when I'm actually going to be starting the engine up. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do everything else, fan shroud and all, and then, you know, uh, put the spark plugs in and have the wires sort of mediocre in place for the day that I decide to actually drop the distributor down in there and uh, and turn the key. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing everything else besides um, distributor for right now. So, with that said, um, I'm not going to be doing power steering yet because I feel like that's kind of jinxing it. I don't know. I feel like power steering is a luxury we don't need on the first startup. So, I'm just going to be doing the crank pulley, the water pump as well as the alternator and I have to make sure that I have all the stuff related to that. This might be a two part vlog because I might have to go and get some more things to put it all together because I might not have everything that I had before and some things were broken before and I decided to use them anyway like my alternator bracket that was broken so I might end up getting a new one of those tomorrow or so but at the very least we'll be getting the water pump done as well as the crank pulley done in this video that you are seeing right now. It's kind of it's kind of weird doing this intro and doing this whole video without knowing that Richard is watching along, honestly. But I mean, I know that he wouldn't want me to be sad and he wouldn't want me to to feel any type of way about his passing. He wouldn't want me to just keep on going. He wouldn't want me to slow down for nothing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I ain't slowing down for nothing for Richard. So just like that, y'all. This intro's over. Let's go ahead and get on with this job. All right, guys, so uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got these out of the way because, I, of course, I need these to go to the alternator, and I need this wiring to be out of the way of the carburetor, and I also need it to be out of the way of the um, throttle spring. Needed to be out of the way of the valve cover also in the back when I bolt on, when I bolt it on. So I got that out of the way and got this to where it's supposed to sit for when the engine is actually running, and I'm literally just going to tuck it back and then put the water pump on over it and then it should be fine where it sits. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the pulley for the harmonic balancer and we will finally get this going. Dude. You record? Yeah. Man, what? All right, y'all, we got Brandon on the vlog, man. What's going on, guys? He's just uh, goofing off as usual. Why I gotta be goofing off, man? Cause you are. This is what you do. This is what you do. Turn the light on, man. Blind you. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> so what's the plan for today, man? Or for tonight, bro? Uh, I am putting on <clears throat> the crank pulley right now. The thing that starts it all. So yeah, and I need extensions because I can't get a tool actually inside it. So yeah, we're gonna... Huh, come on this way, guys. We're just no, gonna... we'll go this way. Dang, I can't just have that one moment, like, I can't just have that moment, like, dang. Remember when I was at battle with that spider over there? Yes, bro. bro. That was funny. Like, that, I wish I caught that on video, but I was just like, <clears throat> like, literally, <laughs> you see me in the background, like, <laughs> just like, shuffling and turning red, like, <laughs> oh, heck no. There you go. I don't know how I did it, but I literally picked the exact sizes for everything. Bro. Like without even trying it, like. Guru. Guru. I do this every day. So let's see if I can get this to work. I need to torque it all to 20 foot pounds. That's the most satisfying sound, I swear to God. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing this and not even looking like. Cause you do this, bro. You do this, man. Barely. I barely do this. Oh, I need to show you my carburetor. Carburetor? I had to bring it downstairs. Man, it's like every time I come over here, it's just like, let me show you all my new toys, man. <laughs> like we little kids <laughs> and shit. Nothing changed, bro. Literally nothing changed, bro. <laughs> the toy like, just got bigger and more expensive. Yeah, bro. Ah. Make sure you guys go ahead and like this video for me, because you know, liking the videos, it just helps the circulation, it helps me, like, become a better YouTuber. So just go ahead and like the video, because maybe I could do, like, an engine review, or a radiator review, 
or something like that, and I can get it for free. <laughs> okay, man. Where do we have to pump it? This is upstairs, but... Why are all the engine parts in your room? I don't understand. You open box up there, that's what you do? While you play Red Dead why Redemption? Is, why is that? Did you open the boxes upstairs? No, I opened them downstairs. Why are they in my... Did you put them in your room? Yeah, I did! Stone. <laughs> why, like, Stone, you know, they, you know they don't go there, though. Why did you put them up there? I don't know! <laughs> That's like, yeah, I'm gonna park my car down the street tonight and then just walk to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I literally could eat. I'll just go get it later, you know? I'm just gonna go get it. Like, I'll be back. <laughs> big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Bertha. Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha, about to get sexy. Big Bertha, about to get sexy. Big Bertha, get sexy. Oh, you. Big Bertha, Big Bertha, so sexy. Big Bertha. Big birthday, yeah. Oh my gosh. I think this junk come with bolts. Oh no, no, I don't. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I just did some nice little B-roll rollout as you walked out the house. <laughs> That's cool. pretty cool. Alright y'all, this is my first time opening this, uh, this water pump. Yeah. Actually, so, uh, this is a high flow water pump by the way. So. That combined with uh, this big boy radiator. Ah, that thing is clean. Look at it. It's clean. It's beautiful. It really is, man. I can hear it pumping the water already. I don't, tell me, tell me why I have so many of these. This, these are all for a water pump for a small block Chevy. How many Tell me why do I have these. How many, like, how many, how many water pumps can you put on with how many of those do you have? You can put on two water pumps with this. Might as well just put two on there then. Double the cooling power, bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all. So, Brandon left and so now it's no more goofing off. But I just wanted to show you guys the finished product here. I know it's going to be kind of weird. But yeah, this is all torqued down to 20 foot pounds. And so now I actually need water pump bolts, but I'm about to go to the store right now and get some. So I'll be right back. I got some. Oh, and by the way, I know this video is lacking a lot of Kevin Dean in it, but he's, like I said, getting ready for Thanksgiving. We got family coming over. So, uh, and we got them coming tomorrow. So they're probably going to be a part of the vlog of whatever I'm doing tomorrow, which is probably going to be the alternator because I uh, went to the parts store and I, they didn't have the alternator bracket that I need because, you know, I, I broke mine. So I was trying to replace it with something good. But they did have the bolts for the water pump. So we're going to go ahead and put the water pump on. And then that'll be some nice vlog. I know it's going to be, like, kind of boring, kind of chill. But you guys want to see progress? And I'm trying to give it to you. So let's go ahead and do that right now. This is just really not my week, y'all. The footage is blurry because I just dropped my camera and definitely broke my lens internally somehow so go figure <laughs> as you could tell this is my photography lens 50 millimeter so it basically means that it's zoomed in and you cannot zoom it back out no good bro no good I'm going to try to finish this video with this lens, but you guys are going to have to sit about a mile away in order for me to actually use it. So, yeah, let's see what I can do for you. I really hate how I have to finish this video all zoomed in like this, but I mean, if it's got to be that way, then it's got to be that way. I'll have to go up to the store tomorrow before I start the next vlog and uh, see about getting my lens replaced. That sounds good. That's probably Sheldon in the scat pack.
Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I see how this is supposed to go now. This makes a whole lot more sense. I gotta hold these high, like so. Okay, now we got it together and I tied that up. I know this is super zoomed in, but bear with me. But I just wanna show you guys, yeah, just tied that up so that I know the alternator wires are gonna be where they should be. And uh, we can all go home. And then I'm gonna put the water pump on and this wire right here is going to fall right in between it perfectly. Yeah, starting to look like a motor, y'all. Finally starting to look like a motor. There it goes, guys, and uh, it's looking really good. It's starting to look like a motor again. But sadly, tomorrow is going to take up some time because i got to find a new lens. and Well, at least i got to start sourcing for my next lens, and I might even have to go back to the GoPro for a little bit. But, I mean, it's not so bad. I'll have to recover SD cards and make sure i got all the right equipment and all that, so... But it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. I'll handle it either way. I do have a vlog coming out tomorrow regardless of what's going on with this lens or not. So, but look at it though. It's like, it looks cool. That's the high flow water pump that I'm getting, that I'm using. And uh, it's funny because that little plug right there at the top wasn't on the, uh, the, the water pump that I bought from O'Reilly's a while back. The one that I pulled off of. The old motor sitting over there in the corner that wasn't on there at all so the fact that they put one on there already dope dope in my book so i think this one's pretty much over y'all time to take a dope thumbnail and uh do my outro so this is what i gotta do to do the outro you guys are literally sitting on top of the truck bro you're sitting on top of the truck and i'm sitting down here at the uh at the grill, at the radiator of the truck. That's how far I gotta be, just to be this close and all in full frame with this lens. This sucks, but oh well, this is how we gotta do the outro, so this is how we gotta do the outro. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like on this video because you know likes help me circulate and circulation is key when you wanna be successful on YouTube. So make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Maybe I could be doing engine reviews or something really, really cool one day. Um, tomorrow I gotta make sure that I uh, I go you know take care of this lens situation. Um, also, I'm probably not gonna do the alternator yet. I didn't think about it, but I gotta replace the fuel line for the carburetor because I think I might need a longer uh, fuel line. So there's no point in putting the alternator there because that's just gonna complicate things and gonna get it in the way. So I'm probably just gonna wait on that, but and uh, save that for the day I put the carburetor on. Then I'll put the alternator on and uh, get it going. So there's that. Um, so as for tomorrow's work, I'm probably going to be putting the spark plugs in. And you know, I might just be changing uh, that fuel line. Also, I'll just get the fuel line, uh, the longer fuel line, and hook it up to where it's supposed to be on the fuel pump, and then have it ready to run to the carburetor in any way, shape that, I, that it has to run to the carburetor. So I'm going to just stick one end of the long, you know, assembly they give me that I buy at the store and then I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna keep it long and then I'm gonna cut it when I actually put the carburetor in. Like guys, we're getting close to first startup for sure. And uh and it's it's really getting crazy guys. I don't know what it is about this week, but things have just been been going to poop. But nonetheless I'm trying to get it done and I'm trying to get there. So just like that y'all I think this one's pretty much over and I really appreciate you guys watching. Um I gotta go charge batteries and Get ready for tomorrow. That's why, guys, for YouTubers, guys, never throw away your cameras. Never sell your cameras. If you buy a camera and you're a YouTuber, keep every last one. Unless it's really something, really a throwaway that you don't care about. You need to keep all your cameras. And I did. So, thankfully, I'll be able to keep going. I'll be able to keep doing and uh, providing content for you guys. It just not. It just might not be the same quality as, uh, as this good old Canon right here. But, nonetheless... We're going to get it done. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And have a good one.
Son of a gun. Dag on lens is working again. <laughs> Alright y'all. Uh I guess my lens is working again. So I think we're in business. Which is really weird, but I think we're good. I guess it needed time to reset or something. I don't know, man. I guess it needed to be unplugged from power and plugged back in. I don't know. But it's working. We're in business. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the vlog. Y'all have a good night and a good morning.